Every time I wear a hat in a video, especially a backwards hat, somebody in the comments always yells at me for wearing a hat inside or wearing a hat backwards. So let me just cut to the chase right now. My hair is at a very unmanageable length right now. That's why the hat. The hat is backwards because if I put the hat forwards, shadow. Cool? Moving on. Audio presets. We're going to talk about audio presets today. I'm going to show you how to first create an audio preset, and then I'm going to show you how to apply an audio preset to your audio tracks. It's a very useful thing. If you learn how to save them and reuse presets, it's just like presets in color grading, just like LUTs, just like power grades. It just saves you time. So we're going to talk about all of that. Plus, I've got a question for you guys at the end of this video. I really, really, really need your input. So please stick around to the end of the video and then answer my question in the comments. Cool. But before we get into all of that, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name is Jay and I work in audio post-production, both in video and in music. And on this channel, I teach the audio side of DaVinci Resolve. So if that sounds like something that you want to learn more about, then stick around, watch this video, maybe watch a couple others, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my videos. Cool? Let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at what we got. I've got a piece of dialogue here. This is actually from my last video on uh, AI noise reduction, and it's just a a short piece of dialogue. What it sounds like doesn't really matter. It's not the point of this video, but you can see if we look at my mixer that I've got some EQ going on. I've got some dynamics here. I'll even open it up. We've got EQ, we've got dynamics, and we've got a de-esser right here. So I have processed this audio just like I would in any other video. I've also gone into my order of operations and I've made sure that it processes the EQ first, then the dynamics, and then the effects or the plugins. Cool? That's the easy part. Now, since all of my YouTube videos essentially have the same setup, this microphone in this position at this desk with the same volume and everything, it's safe to say that I am probably going to use this EQ and this compression and this de -er on almost all of my YouTube videos. So to save time for future YouTube videos, I want to save this as an audio preset to do it super, super easy. All we're going to do is come up to Fairlight and we're going to open up our presets library and you'll see we've got presets. We've got a drop down box here and we've got some EQ presets. You can see there's a whole bunch of them. Some of these came just default in DaVinci Resolve. The only one that I've added here, I've added two actually, Master EQ and Background Music Shaping. And then I've also, we've got some Dynamics presets here. These all came with DaVinci Resolve. And we've got some Plugins presets. So we've got JStudio Cleanup. We've got JStudio Shaping. These are actually all old presets from back when I was sitting uh, like right, right over here making my videos. I actually haven't created new presets. This will be the first one. Uh, and then we've got some global track presets, global bus presets, and Fairlight configuration presets. What we are worrying, working with today, since I want to save the EQ and the dynamics and the de -esser all in one preset, we're going to go to global track presets. And then we're going to select audio one because that's where all my processing is. And we're going to hit save new. And we're going to call this dynamic mic VO for voiceover. That's because this preset is for my dynamic microphone when I'm essentially doing a voiceover. This is where I would sit if I was actually recording a voiceover and I would use these same settings. From there, we'll just hit OK. And there we have dynamic mic voiceover. We've got our global track preset. So now that we've created our preset, what do we do with it? Well, we apply it in our next video. Here's how to do that. I've got the same piece of dialogue here. This is in a new timeline. I haven't done any audio processing processing at all. There's no EQ set. There's no dynamic set. There's no DSer on here. The order of operations and it's, is in its default uh, effects followed by dynamics followed by EQ. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Fairlight and we're going to go to presets library just like before. We're in our global track presets. I'm going to select dynamic mic voiceover. I'm going to select audio one and I'm going to hit apply. And once 
we have X data there. We can come over to our mixer and we can see we've got our EQ going on. We've got our dynamics. We've got our DSer. Our DSer has the same settings that it had before. And our order of operations has changed to process EQ, then dynamics, and then effects. So you can see by creating audio presets, we actually save ourselves a whole bunch of time, especially if you are like me and most of the videos you work on are recorded in the same location with the same mic, with the same person talking week in and, and week out. Which brings me to a question I wanted to ask you guys. See, I was thinking of doing a whole bunch of different presets here. One for the dynamic mic, which you saw I already created. I could do one for a condenser mic, one for a shotgun mic, maybe one for vlog style, one for a, a lav mic. If I did that and I packaged it all into a little audio preset pack, is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments, because if enough of you are interested in it, I will make it and I will put it up for sale on jlipman.com. And if you're a channel member, you'll get it for free. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in in the comments. Also, if you are confused by this whole order of operations thing, this is actually the very first thing I do whenever I sit down to do an audio mix. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Oh, and please don't say anything about the hat.